Welcome to the UC San Diego Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center Brain Blast series. My name is James Brewer, and I'm the director of the UC San Diego Department of Neurosciences and the Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. I'm a professor of neurology, a clinical neurologist, and a brain imaging researcher. I'm pleased to present to you our virtual Brain Blast series. Each of the talks included in the series have been created by Shiley Marcos ADRC colleagues with expertise in brain aging research that focuses on prevention, detection, diagnosis, and treatment of Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. Each of the experts featured in the series studies a unique aspect of brain aging and has developed a brief overview of their current research to highlight the state-of-the-art work that's going on here at UCSD and our center. We hope you'll take advantage of this free resource to learn more about the advances in brain aging, the importance of research, and the multitude of opportunities to get involved and participate in research studies. I'm Dr. Douglas Galasco, a professor in the Department of Neurosciences at UC San Diego. It's my pleasure to tell you about our longitudinal research program at the Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center at UCSD. First, a little background. The UCSD Alzheimer's Disease Research Center, or ADRC, is one of the original five Alzheimer's Disease Research Centers that was established by the National Institute on Aging in 1984. The ADRC program was set up to translate research advances into improved diagnosis and care for people with Alzheimer's disease. And the ultimate goal was to help to find ways to treat and ultimately prevent Alzheimer's disease. There are now over 30 ADRCs across the USA. The scope of our research includes not only Alzheimer's, but a number of conditions that we classify as related disorders. These include Lewy body dementia and frontotemporal degeneration, as well as vascular cognitive impairment. And we also are extremely interested in changes in cognition that happen over aging. Our research mission is firstly to carry out research into the causes, treatment, and prevention of Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. The ADRC acts as a local and national resource by providing research subjects and materials we collect from those subjects to researchers. We provide training opportunities for clinicians and researchers to help to develop their interests and careers. We contribute to educating healthcare professionals and people in the community regarding Alzheimer's disease. And we provide outreach to the diverse San Diego community regarding the diagnosis, treatment, and care of people with Alzheimer's disease. We have several themes that drive our research. Firstly, we're extremely interested in mechanisms of disease. It turns out that Alzheimer's disease is a complex disorder and a number of different factors and mechanisms <coughs> contribute. Risk factors can broadly be grouped into aging, genetics, and environment. Environment is an enormous risk factor all on its own, and it broadly includes social and medical factors, as well as things people are exposed to. These factors interact across one's lifespan and influence good and bad brain aging, and ultimately the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and related disorders. In order to study how risk and cognition change over time, it requires long-term follow-up through the ADRC. Um, this part of our mission is critical because as we understand mechanisms of Alzheimer's disease, this will enable us to develop interventions that improve outcomes and ultimately result in effective treatment. If we think of healthy brain aging as a balancing act, there are things one might do 
that improve resilience or reserve, such as cognitive activity, social activity, exercise, and sleep. And there are things we need to be concerned about that may contribute to age-related damage, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, diet, and stress. This is a simplification of some of the factors that contribute to this balance, and this plays an important part of our research and research assessments. Another one of our research themes is markers and maps. What motivates, what motivates this is that Alzheimer's changes in the brain begin a decade or longer before the very first symptoms. We are able to measure changes, including the buildup of pathology in the brain while people are still alive. In order to do this, we use tests that are called biomarkers to construct a map of change over time. Biomarkers can measure things such as brain structure. One example would be MRI, brain chemistry through things like PET scans or sampling cerebrospinal fluid or measuring things in the blood. And finally, brain function, for which our primary measure is cognitive testing. And this diagram shows how uh, brain cognition and um, brain structure and function may change to influence cognition and how somebody functions in daily living. The um, ultimate objective is to preserve normal brain aging and normal brain function. And some people are going to start out that way and over time will progress through changes that put them on a pathway to develop Alzheimer's disease. Through building a detailed map, we know that Alzheimer's undergoes several different stages. The earliest stage involves the buildup of pathology while people have no symptoms at all, and this is called preclinical Alzheimer's disease. An intermediate stage is called mild cognitive impairment, where people have mild changes in memory but are largely still able to function in daily life. And then further downstream is the development of dementia, where the cognitive changes result in impairment of function. Underneath the surface is the development of brain pathology with the buildup of plaques and tangles. Plaques are made of amyloid and tangles are made of tau. And these were the structures that Professor Alzheimer first described in 1907. And then importantly, factors such as vascular disease are also building up. So this is going to take all of these into account. In order to accomplish all of this, we need research participants. And in order to really understand the interplay of different factors in relation to brain health and disease, we aim to enroll and follow a diverse group of volunteers. Diversity includes age, sex, we're obviously interested in enrolling both men and women, ethnic background, and we have a particular interest in Latinos in San Diego, um, and <laughs> diversity of risk factors. We're interested in Alzheimer's and related disorders, as I mentioned before. And we also are following people who are 65 and older who do not have memory problems. Participants in the ADRC come in for annual detailed visits and are also offered the ability to take part in additional studies through affiliated researchers. It is critical to be able to compare all of this data that we collect during life with changes in the brain that occur that we classify as pathology. And therefore, the ADRC supports a program of brain donation after death among our study participants. People who come in for our study undergo a variety of procedures. These include neuropsychological testing, so pencil and paper tests of memory and other cognitive function. We draw blood. We perform a lumbar puncture on people who consent. We perform research MRIs, PET scans. A skin biopsy is taken to be able to produce things called induced pluripotent stem cells, which are ways of growing nerve cells out of people's own skin. And then, as I mentioned before, we support an autopsy program. So as I mentioned, all of this 
cannot happen without people wanting to be part of our exciting and diverse studies. So we would like you all to find out more about how you can help to contribute to our research. And this slide lists a number of ways of contacting us and finding out further information through telephone, email, the internet, or our Facebook page. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation from our UC San Diego Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center virtual brain blast series. Please look for other presentations in this series and share them with your communities. We hope that you'll also consider participating with, in brain research studies. We always have new opportunities for participation and are actively seeking individuals 65 and older without memory disorders, as well as those with a diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment or Alzheimer's disease and related dementias such as frontotemporal dementia, Lewy body dementia, and Parkinson's dementia, as well as others. We're also proud to have a bilingual, bicultural team who conducts studies, visits in Spanish. Your participation can make a real difference for future generations. Please click on the description below to complete the very brief survey about the presentation you just viewed. And for those who are interested and who live in San Diego, we'll be happy to contact you. Simply provide your contact information on the secure survey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.